Good morning, folks. Day one down of observing the frontier. I knew it would be a good time, but Robotai, Talbot, and Uyen pulled out the big guns. Earth-shattering revelations, figuratively and literally. Day two starts at 8 a.m. Eastern, and Dunning, D'Amico, and I can see the finish line. Here's the last 24 hours on our star. Now, there's no Earth-directed explosions, but that's about the only calm news I've got for you today. The three brightest areas here in 304 angstroms are the sunspots of note, one out ahead facing Earth, and two coming over the limb. The lead is calming, but those two behind are trying to get something going. Churning, surging, trying to flare, and flare they did. A short but relevant uptick in flaring took place yesterday, predominantly from the southern sunspot group of those two just coming in now couple nice flashes and 131 angstroms. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com and see that one of those did break into M-class range. And let's go over and check out the sunspots themselves. The big one facing Earth retains a little bit of magnetic mixing on the north end, but it has succumbed to the Earth-facing quiet. Big Boy in coming up north has chosen to become quiet as well. The M flare, as we mentioned, is from the group thinking he's home free on the south there and able to flare. Let's see if the Earth-facing quiet can knock down its seventh sunspot in a row in just five days. We have a geomagnetic storm alert today due to the arrival of a speedy coronal hole stream. The leading density shockwave struck overnight and now the energized particles are taking their crack at our magnetic shield. Speaking of coronal holes, the next one has come in to directly face Earth on the equator, so with the planets aligned, we would expect an uptick, but only a moderate quake uptick due to the continued weak force to that coronal hole. The red is gone on the left. Consequently, we did get above average rumbles, but again, not too, too big. Argentinian quake did hit six, but was downgraded. In Costa Rica, dos erupciones pequeños al volcán Turrialba. They are also raising the volcano alert in northern New Zealand today. Tasmania recovering from major wind gusts that are also moving on to New Zealand now. Radioactive particles detected in Finland by the National Detection System. California mudslides. Folks, this is the type of thing we've discussed where too big of a rain after a long drought really isn't how you want to cure the situation. Making matters worse is that the mud is now drying, solidifying, confounding the cleanup. They won't even start cleaning up for a while in the Philippines, typhoon overhead and bringing strong winds to accompany the major rainfall. The reason why they won't get a chance to clean up for a while can be seen when I push forward into forecast tracks of the storms. The one over the Philippines isn't moving. Stratospheric polar vortices shows the north revving up strongly for this time in mid-October. You're going to see pressure-driven temperature swings in the United States, then pressure-driven storms across the pond two weak convergences down under. The carbon monoxide concentration concerns across the globe and then shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.